Hi, I'm Mike Merritt, executive chef with Bueller's Fresh Food. Today, we have the center of the plate, the turkey. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with what we call as mirepoix. What it is, is your celery, onions, and carrots. Real simple, real long name for something simple. It's a rough chop. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take quick chops. Doesn't matter if they're all even, if they're equal, and we're gonna put it in our pan. We're gonna have our celery in here. Even the bottom pieces here, where this is something normally you wouldn't use if you were doing celery sticks, this is all a good part of the celery. We wanna use this for our mirepoix. Our mirepoix. We're gonna put all this in here, and we're gonna be ready to go. We're gonna put a liquid inside of it. We're gonna use chicken stock. We're gonna add our chicken stock, just enough to fill the bottom of the pan. Basing a turkey, if you have one of those little basters with the rubber ends, don't even bother using it. All you're doing is bringing down your temperature of your oven. A couple other things here, as you'll see right here, I got my finger on the little red uh, pop-up guy. That's what I, you're ready to eat. Um, it's okay to use that, but what my recommendation would be is to use a thermometer. Um, using a regular thermometer or a digital thermometer, we need to make sure that this product is 165 degrees when it comes out of the oven and we're temping it at its thickest point. So you don't want to stick it right on a bone, make sure you're getting it right in the meat there and we want to make sure. This part here is we want to put seasoning on our turkey. We don't want to just throw it in raw, ready to go. We want to put something on it. So we're going to use some butter here. Now, if you're on a low fat diet or your guests are on a low fat diet, this is something that you can use oil. You don't have to use butter. Um, butter is something I like to use because you get a nice browning from it when it goes in the oven and it just gives a nice buttery taste and I love butter. So. Um, your seasoning now is gonna stick so much better when you put it on here. We're gonna use some kosher salt, and we're gonna salt it pretty good here because, again, it's gonna be cooking for a while. You want this salt to penetrate into the, in through the bird. And we're also gonna be using some white pepper. Now, white pepper is something I use whenever I use whenever I cook poultry because you don't want to have black specks all over top of your all on top of your bird. So, we're gonna use some white pepper. We have a great selection of different kinds of rubs that you can use. Uh, the one I grabbed here is an applewood rub. Uh, same procedure here, rub your butter on it, but just sprinkle your apple rub butter before you throw it in the oven. The whole process for a bird, uh, I wrap it in foil, about two hours in the oven. For more holiday tips and recipes, visit Bueller's.com.